he said all the chairs on the Enterprise were uh, too small, and he's a tall guy. So he, had he to, is like, a tall guy. Swing over them. He is a tall guy. Yeah. Way taller than. Yeah, he, he's barely got to lift that leg to do it. <laughs> But it is it's a hilarious <laughs> character detail. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he Beard or no beard, that's know. how that guy sits down. <laughs> I got a new blueprint to look at. Come on. Stream. What? Stream. Ah, I see what's going on here. Right, screen region here, please. There we go. Aha! There we go. Whoa! What's that massive empty space underneath the bridge? It's not a holodeck. Oh no! So he, re yeah. he requires yeah. a large one. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> where he. Uh, that's where he acts out Enterprise. Uh, you know where he's the cook. Yeah. No way, oh dude. God, dude! This, this guy do that somewhere, man. Tube layout. Lower decks. Wait. So the animatics on. Deck 42? Yeah, the antimatter's on I Deck 42. <laughs> the antimatter reactor is on Deck 42. That's got to be some kind of hat nod. All you ever see is the bridge, the ready room, the observational lounge. Hey, sets cost money, man. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Weren't they making loads of money off the show at one point, though? Quit quiet. <laughs> Imagine how many times people watch this show to figure out the layout. Yeah. To the this... point that it's it's so complex inside because of so many different random scenes where like they just yeah. do whatever. That's what yeah, I, mean. When, I mean. They're making a TV show. Well, I do want to be a Starfleet Dolphin officers. That should be a faction. Starfleet Dolphins. Well, because they've got dolphin storage. Yeah, season season two, the dolphins are like this show's jump the char shark so long, and thanks for all the fish. We are mm -hmm. out of here. It's got a star date, lol. Yeah, that's not real. <laughs> oh, here we go. Copyright 1990. And look, Andrew Probert. There you go. Andrew Probert. I swear he's the lead designer. Whoops. Is best known for designing the USS Enterprise for Star Trek The Motion Picture and the Enterprise D for Star Trek The Next Generation. So there you go. Anybody who wants to hate on the Enterprise D because it's so different, well, guess what? This guy did the motion picture design too. And that was so different too, if you think about it. Because the original series model and then the movie, completely different. Similar, but not the same, you know? And then here we are trying to trying to build it in Star Made. There it is in STO. There is my creation. I actually think the shadows make it look a little bit better. I don't know, sometimes... I need to build a Ferengi ship. It would be all brown and orange hull. Yeah, that you do. Awesome. It, and they look like a big mouth organ. So which ship is it that your buddy's been working on, man? The one directly to your left, the large one, Tri oh, Missile Cruiser. Oh, man, this ship is just the gift that keeps on giving. Not only did he pick 60, a 60 degree angle based ship to build, which is insane how. I mean, that thing is pretty sleek looking, considering it's on the worst possible angle for wedging. I like. But he's really made it work, and then, you know, it draws back into this cool wheel yeah, system like thing wheel. that he's building. That hubcap is beautiful, and then look what he did on the top here, just with decorative, I think, power supply beams for where he's going to put a turret. Love the engines, wow. Yeah, well, you know, and that's, the, and that, yeah, really, that's the surprise, is when you get to the back, this engine is unlike any of the shapes that are that come before it on the front but it still totally just jams it's you know because then he he ends the back with a curve echoing everything oh god that what have i done, done? Up front oh sorry <laughs> anyway i just i love watching him work because <laughs> he puts he puts shapes together in a way that that 
I just don't see from anybody else. Oh, we had a collision, right? <laughs> I was like, what the hell's happening? I like your docking 45 degree out. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a great way to get the ship away. This ship is, um, you know... We built so many ships where the core is placed because that's where you want to steer the ship from. I wish we could steer ships using activation modules wired to the core or something. It would be nice to be able to move your cockpit but have your core really, you well, know, in your ship where you want I, it. I had, a I had a thing I wanted to put... I did have a suggestion to put forward on that sort of thing. Um, you know how in the game at the moment we have a mechanic which aligns the ship to the sort of galactic north? Yeah, C. You push C and it goes forward. Well, I was wondering if there could be a selected target behavior so that, you know, if you push F on something and, push, and then push C, it would align to it. You'd align to that. Oh, interesting. So if everyone had the same waypoint set, you know, you all line up. Or darn close to it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the distance, of course. Right, but, you know, one sector away, what's it going to matter? Right. Multiple sectors right. away, then you'll even out once the entities start placing after the jump. Mm hmm. Which is what we learned shooting that trailer jump scene was that, you know, we all tried to position ourselves so that when we'd land, but entity placement rules have a buffer zone, baby. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, if as long as somebody's essentially their their docking bounding box was potentially touching someone else's they could place differently which is great you know i appreciate scheme has been like you know what let's just like avoid 90 percent of possible collisions by making sure that entities can't load on top of one another about power or putting shielding in it uh that would that would maybe be more of a problem we'd need to extend the battery and, and build some better defenses on it but as an invulnerable structure, it's it's awesome for just docking enormous ships to in a fairly attractive manner. It's a joy to fly by this base. Yeah, I agree. It's we're we're having a lot of fun, you know, filling it out. The skyline of ships is only gonna get better. I have to rebuild the Dauntless. I lost a ship, Tom. I'm so stupid. How? I have no blueprint, and, um... Oh no, not the blueprint. Yeah, Dalmont, Dalmont was even kind enough to look through the old universe for it, and it's just gone. I'm, oh, man. I'm just a doofus. I'm shocked that, like, between home and my office. I don't have a I don't have one. But I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna build it bigger and I'm gonna build it better. Good man. It's it, the next one will will actually be a proper powerful ship. That's that's what I say. Building building the Nen this adapting this Lego ship has, has sort of like actually got me in the build mood to like build something that could actually do a little bit of fighting. I want to build something I'm willing to lose. <laughs> Actually, in a fleet combat, I would like I would like to enter the ship I'm working on. I'm I, I'm kind of pleased with it. Oh, nailed it! No. Right. Well, it's time to work on that uh, that hangar.